Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, one of the things that I've shared with you guys over the years is my love for the artwork of a guy named Bill Campbell. Now, Bill Campbell was best known as the designer, illustrator of the Weirdos. I love those kits. I have built all the Weirdos. There's only one of the collection that I'm still looking for, and that's not a true Bill Campbell Weirdos. This is one that was based on the Fox Family Weirdos TV show. I'm still looking for that one. But as far as the original Bill Campbell design kits, I have built them all. I've also built all the Silly Surfers collection, a collection of surfers that he put together. Uh, all those are very cool as well. I've shared all those on this channel. And then there's the other set. This set is called the Frantics. It's a rock and roll oriented uh, set. Now these are pretty well, I would say, at least loosely based on the Beatles. Uh, the Frantics have all kinds of different, there's a, a bongo player, there's two guitar players, there's these two dancers, and then there's a guitar player with a young lady hanging off his leg as if she's, it's pretty much Beatlemania is what it amounts to. I love the designs. Though This kit, the Frantics, uh, Frantic Cats, excuse me, is the one we'll be doing today. Just two young people dancing to rock and roll, right? Uh, and then the only other one I have is the two, uh, the, the guy playing guitar while the girl hangs on his leg, right? Uh, again, very Beatlemania related. Um, so let's have a look at what's inside. Now, first of all, we have you pretty much the standard uh, Weirdos instruction set. Very, very basic. You can see this is made up from the original uh, designs, most likely, because all that type in there, that's typewritten, like on a typewriter. You remember those? Uh, <laughs> this is made on a typewriter. As you can see, the pictures are very, very basic. They have the whole character glued together, and they show the calling out the part numbers all around it. Uh, and then on the back, of course, we have more. It looks like we have the female character on the front, the male character on the back. And then at the bottom, they show where to put all the various uh, accessories that they include, like soda bottles and uh, looks like a transistor radio, some other odds and ends. So let's have a look at the plastic, shall we? Now, there's only one complaint that I have about these uh, Franix kits, and that is they're not to scale. Now, when I say that, I realize it's a cartoon kit and it sounds really stupid. But what it amounts to is this. There are two, kit, two characters in most of the kits, and those characters are one size. But the drummer, who's by himself on the playing the bongos, he's got to be proportionally about 10 feet tall. He's just much larger than the other characters. And that was kind of a bummer because one of the things I thought would be really cool would be to set this up almost like a rock stage and have the band up there and, and just have the uh, these fans dancing around outside of the off the stage and all that. I thought it'd make a really good diorama, but I really couldn't do it because of the disproportionality, I think that's a word, of the characters. Anyway, they're still a blast to build. They're super fun, and uh, we're going to look at them right now. So here we have the legs of the male character, I believe. The shoes of the male character, uh, complete with white socks sticking out the top. For some reason, we have a cat. I guess the frantic cats, right? So there's a cat who's sort of freaking out. We've got half a soda bottle. On this sprue, we have, looks like part of the woman's torso, uh, her skirt, somebody's hands, I'm not sure which hands. This looks like a record, probably a, a record sleeve. And there's that transistor radio. Uh, that was a thing that they used to use before they had like CDs and stuff. <laughs> and of course, MP3 players and digital files and all the other stuff. It all started with transistor radio. Did you have one? I know I did. I was so excited when I got it. A transistor AM radio. Man, I was so cool. Uh, but at that time, that was a big deal. Uh, you see here, we've got half of the dance floor. We've got the young man's head, complete with that chin beard with no mustache. And I thought that was Amish, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, we've got the male hands. We've got arms for the man. 
Uh, that's it for that, that sprue. And we have another sprue here. This is the, uh, the rest of the stage. I believe these are the young woman's uh, arms, her head. Uh, I think that's part of the man's head. Oh, no, that's part of the woman's head. Uh, this is her box, shall we say, part of a leg. And then, as seems to be pretty normal with these kits, uh, several of the pieces have fallen off in the bag. This would be the young woman's torso. Uh, another part of her leg. Uh, and then we have the other half of the young man's head. Half of one of his shoes. And we have what appears to be the young lady's hair. Uh, there's also another part of an arm in here. And there is the other half of the soda bottle. So, overall, this is going to be fun. They always are. Uh, and I will show this to you probably in process. Uh, if not, I'll get it to you as soon as it's done. Um, one of the things that I recommend with these kits, and it might just be my own neurosis, okay? I'm just going to admit it. But I love to paint the inside of the figures black before I assemble them. And the reason for that being, it feels like these, this plastic is pretty thin. Uh, as you can see, it, it's almost translucent. It's that thin. And uh, I, I like to give that, I feel like it gives the, the plastic a little more uh, opacity. And I think it makes the colors look better when you paint them. Uh, I, again, that could be my own neurosis, but I've done it on all the kits that I've built. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do so with the last two. So that's what I have for you for today. Uh, again, Hawk, Frantix, uh, again, rock and roll theme, Beatles theme. If you're somebody who remembers the 60s, you're old. No, <laughs> it's okay, I'm old too. Uh, but if you're somebody who remembers the 60s, this might just be a nice little shot of nostalgia for you to have some fun. And that's good because as you know, model building is supposed to be fun. I picked these up on eBay, case lot with all the kits, uh, and got uh, each kit, uh, you know, four kits in a box, five kits in a box for the silly surfers. And again, just a lot of fun. So pick one up. Have a great time. Take care.